Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode on EI Studios. And before I get started, yes, this is a spoiler review of Godzilla Monster Planet. I literally just finished watching and before I do get started, yes, I'm gonna make another horrifying just like I made the horrifying true messages of Shin Godzilla. Thank you to guys that passed a hundred thousand views. I'm gonna make the horrifying true messages about Godzilla Monster Planet. I did take some notes down while I watched the movie and yes, there is some interesting facts about the movie that I would want to address. So but that's the that's a different video. Okay. Before I even say anything about the movie, anything, I'm just gonna jump into the biggest spoiler. Guys, again, this whole review is spoiler. Like, just click away right now. Let's click away right now because this will ruin the first movie for you. It will literally ruin it if you just leave. The moment when I saw the real Godzilla come out, I was just spazzing out. Like, all I could do was clap at Toho. Amazing. Beautiful. You know, when the first Godzilla lost, or whatever you want to call that guy... <laughs> I was like, wait, wait, what the hell? That is the most weakest thing I've seen in my life. I was about to go and cuss the- I was about to stop. I was like, about to cuss the movie out. And then the real Godzilla comes out. And then when the- when the- I've got- damn, I forgot the girl's name. She goes like, uh... This is the king of the monsters or something like that. I was like, oh, hell yeah it is. Hell yeah it is. That's what's up. Oh my god, it was beautiful. Am I bad, guys? Anyways, um, yeah, so... It was beautiful, very well done. But for the movie, you know, it, it did drag on a little bit. It was just, I bet my favorite part was just that one little part, but that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, they sh did show a little bit of Kaiju in the begin beginning. They showed Orga, Kamakuras, um, Manda, I believe. I forgot the rest, but it was like only pictures. There wasn't really interactions with the monsters. The only two monsters we had, well, three, I, I would say, is the Servums, uh, the baby Gojira, and the final Earth Gojira, the plant Godzilla, whatever you want to call it. And um, pretty much uh, what the, the synopsis is, is uh, Haru, Haru, yeah, he's the guy. And um, basically, he is an Earthling. He wants to get revenge on Godzilla for taking Earth from him and all the humans. With There's an alien race actually helping them out. And so basically, uh, they go to Earth, you know, they fight off the baby Godzilla, they fight off the Servums, and then they think they won, and then the scientists, pretty much, you know, it's, it's, it's a very basic movie, though, uh, so the scientists, and I say, well, yeah, I don't think this is the final Godzilla, and that's when the shit gets real, and the ending is beautiful, it says, you bastard, I'm gonna kill you, and I don't think he has got, no, no, he's not gonna kill him, there's no way Toho's gonna let that guy kill him. You know, and there's this one girl who keeps on running from the screen. This is, I think, I think that person lives there. And then if you watch the post credit screen, she's next to Haru, which was like, <gasps> like that, or something like that. I kind of forgot, but so they show that they, yes, there's people on this Earth right now. It's not, yeah, there's people living on Earth. So it's this is going to be really, really interesting to see. But I loved it. I, I loved it. I seriously loved it. Um, I think this was a great movie. I give it a 9 out of 10 uh, within my own personal opinion. I loved it. I personally loved it. Godzilla's design, you know, I don't... Okay, from the design of the figures, it doesn't look good. But in the movie, it looked pretty... Okay, the first Godzilla was eh, but the second one, it looked more scaly and it was beautiful. It, it screamed Godzilla. I'm willing to give the second one a chance too, but this one, I loved it. I honestly loved it. I, I have nothing wrong, bad to say about this movie. Um, I believe IMDb gave it a 7.1 and then dropped it to a 6.7. Uh, I don't agree with that. Um, I don't know if Rotten Tomatoes is going to put a review up for this, or either if they have. I'm not sure. But, well, EI Studios gave out a 9, a 9 out of 10. Well, that's the best one you could go for, right? <laughs> You know, I actually, we actually posted a video of the Earth Godzilla appearance and the horrifying true messages of Shin Godzilla coming out next. And thank you so much. So basically, what I did is I made a pretty, 
a, a, a small skit video of Shin Godzilla vs. Godzilla 2014 and I didn't know it was gonna go that big. Uh, it actually surpassed 100,000 views and I just wanna say thank you to everyone who watched that. You know, no offense to any Godzilla 2014 fans, you know, this is not based on, I just thought it would be funny um, just to, you know, show how ugly Shin Godzilla, because Shin Godzilla, you know, I love Shin Godzilla but he is an ugly monster because Shin Godzilla is really ugly and, you know, just to show how ugly he is, God, uh, 2014 just like, ah, screams and, you know, I do that sound effect, <laughs> yeah, th that was me, it wasn't a sound effect, it was my own voice, yep, it was me, um, and I plan on doing some more stuff like that, I guess you guys liked it, um, but yeah, more, I want to, I want to blast in the Godzilla content more and more and more, thank you so much for watching, and as always, have a great day, guys, have a great, wonderful day.